They give me a, a sensation of uh, freedom, a companion. It's like coming to my house and everybody is so loving, so, you know, get together and uh, socialize. If, if I didn't do that in the uh, grandparents' house, I would be alone in my apartment. I, when I uh, came the age of retirement, and I said, what I'm going to do now? And somebody told me about the grandparent house. She told me, well, Irene, you are alone. I don't want to see you alone. And, and you're telling me you don't know if, I, if you stay here or go back to Chile when you retire. Why you don't go to the grandparent house? It's really nice. People get together and have coffee and, and talk and they relate, you know? Mm, very good coffee. Good. <laughs> Colombian coffee. <laughs> Yeah, for me it's so important that I always am here Wednesday for them. Yeah, it's very important for me because it made me feel like like helping them and at the same time they are helping me to feel realized. You kind of forget about everything, you know, the daily worries and so it's, it's a relaxed time, it's very nice. And I like very much to come here because uh, we have many activities to develop to, and we are happy here. <laughs> and I said, well, why I don't offer the course of painting? So it was the first course that was uh, done because I painted since the age of seven years old I, uh, as, a, as a hobby. I went to buy everything and, and there I started the first course, five people. I said, well, I can do an art therapy for the elderly and that's what I'm doing with them because they talk about the problems and then they start to dissipate all those problems because they get together, they talk about this and that and, and not only painting and, and it, it, it comes in a very beautiful atmosphere for them. They really need that. Social isolation is one problem that it goes from the north to south, from the east to west, from the urban centers to the rural areas. No one is except. But perhaps the ones that are most affected are immigrant seniors. It's important, at least for me as a leader, is to provide the space where seniors come and enjoy the moment. It's nice to be with others. We cheat, chat, we laugh, we cry, and that is what is important. Immigrant seniors face isolation, both social isolation and physical isolation, which means that mental health can be a big challenge for them. They, get, um, they could get depressed, they can't communicate very easily, or they can't access the services. So a lot of the public programs are you know, one size fits all, and they're not thought of for uh, different groups of seniors. One of the main challenges that immigrant seniors are facing is language and adapting to the culture as well as the climate. So that's a lot of challenges for um, a newcomer. That's what it is, they are all immigrants. You know, so the, that's why it, they relate good because of, uh, they are all in the same boat. It, it was very, very important for me uh, to find these beautiful people. You know, it's just, uh, I started to, to feel at home and not that lonely.
Social isolation is a national problem, and it's not only about immigrant seniors, but it's something that everybody has to, to address, and you have to think about your parents and your grandparents. It's not only about the grandparents of Club Casa de los Abuelos, but it's about your grandparents too. Maybe you think that they are so happy, and maybe they put a nice smile for you, but you don't know how they are living their lives. So make time for them as well. I, uh, we need the contact, people contact, you know, people relating each other, you know, doing things together, yeah, you know, like uh, how I transfer my love and the painting for them, that's what I mean, you know, so it's a very, very meaningful. mis pupilos, llenas están mis manos de cosas bellas que emanan como ríos de colores, ofrendas de amor son todas ellas, marinas, rosas, paisajes y flores, noches serenas llenas de estrellas, jardines floridos con dulces olores, quieren mis manos entregarles estas ofrendas, a mis pupilos que son mis amores. <música>